they've been so incapable of coming together. And if Jason Kenney couldn't do it, quite frankly, I don't think anybody can do it. Political leaders across the country are weighing in on Alberta Premier Jason Kenney's decision to step down after receiving a narrow margin of approval in his leadership review on Wednesday. We didn't have a government focused on governing for months and months and months leading up to yesterday. And now, uh, I suppose what's changed is we know definitely that we won't have that for months and months and months going forward. In response to Kenny's departure, Alberta NDP leader Rachel Notley took to Twitter thanking Jason Kenny for his public service, saying there are obviously many things about which we don't agree, but that doesn't negate the time and sacrifice that goes into taking on the role of premier. Notley held a news conference Thursday with candidates ready to run in the next election, which is set to happen about a year from now. She says she is not concerned with who the next leader will be and thinks infighting over leadership in the UCP will be another distraction. Yesterday's news is the starting gun for more chaos and more distraction. We have, right now, a caretaker government. We've actually had one for some time now. Drew Barnes, former UCP and now independent MLA for Cypress Medicine Hat and vocal critic of Jason Kenney, says it's time for new leadership in the party. The most important thing today is for Jason Kenney to leave, for Jason Kenney to follow through with what he said last night when he clearly said he didn't have the mandate and the respect of Albertans. You know, three years ago, we got 55% of Albertans to vote all Albertans to vote in favour of him. Now he can't get 52% from his own small club. It is time for him to go away. Comments coming down from Ottawa as well. While heading into a cabinet meeting Thursday, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau wished Kenny the best in his next endeavours. I want to uh, recognise that Jason Kenny served his community, his province, his country for many, many years. Uh, and I wish him the very best in uh, whatever next steps uh, he takes on. Kenny's decision to step down came as a surprise to many. Now the question remains, who will be the next leader of the UCP? In Calgary, Jasmine Vicarious, City News.